Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> We're just having a good tidy up today. I'm doing the kitchen and Ben's doing the cafe. Small, small, ho, oh, something awful's happened. What? What is it, Ben? Oh, hello, everyone. I've lost my gold ring. Oh, no. Oh, well, I tried it on this morning. I'm sure I did. But just now in the cafe, I looked at my hand and it was gone. Well, I'll help you look for it. I know how precious it is. Oh, yes, it's very precious. It was a birthday present from my granddad. Well, don't worry, Ben. We'll find it. Oh, but it's so tiny, small, and the cafe is so big. It could be anywhere. <coughs> oh, dear, and now we've got a customer. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll go see who it is and you keep looking. I'm on my way! Whee! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, it's got black and white feathers, wings and a beak. Oh, so it's a bird. Oh, is it a penguin? <laughs> it's not a penguin, Ben. It's a bird called a magpie. A magpie? I heard you could bring good luck if you said, Good morning, Mr Magpie. Where's your brother? Go on, Small, say it. OK, Ben. Good morning, Mr Magpie. Where's your brother? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's not a Mr Magpie. It's a Mrs Magpie. And her name's Monica. I'm sure I've met Monica before. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was having a walk in the woods when suddenly something landed on my head. It was a piece of silver cloth which glittered in the sunlight. Sorry, called a voice from above me. I looked up and saw Monica the magpie peeping down at me from her nest. I love collecting shiny things, but my nest is so full that bits and pieces keep falling out. I've got so much shiny stuff up here, I don't know what to do with it all. I think I can help you there, I said. I took Monica the magpie to meet a friend of mine whose name was Manjit. Manjit was supposed to be making a shiny picture to take to school, but she didn't have any shiny things. Monica the magpie was very interested. Well, if it's shiny stuff you're after, you're talking to the right bird. She called cheerfully. All afternoon, Monica flew backwards and forwards between her nest and Manjit's house. She brought Manjit shiny paper and ribbon, glittery material and sparkly sequins. Manjit was delighted! Whoopee! I know just what I'm going to make now, she said happily. And she made a beautiful collage of a shiny magpie sitting in her sparkly nest. Manjit and Monica the magpie were both very pleased with their day's work. Manjit was really proud of her picture and Monica now had some room in her nest so she could start collecting more shiny things. Way! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, I loved the collage that Manjit made. Didn't it look fantastic? It was brilliant, wasn't it? Monica's collection of shiny things was just what she needed. Oh, small. I've just thought. My gold ring was really shiny. Perhaps Monica found it and took it back to her nest to add to her collection. She can't have Ben. You lost your ring before she came to the cafe, remember? Oh, yes, you're right, Small. Oh, I'll be so upset if I don't find it. It must be somewhere. Let's find a recipe for our hungry magpie, and when it's cooked, we can carry on with our search. OK, then. What can we cook for Monica? I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. 
And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. I don't suppose there's any shiny recipes, Ben? You suppose wrong, my little friend. Look, a fruity nest. The perfect recipe for our birdie customer. And even better, Small, you use shiny foil to make the nest. That's spot on perfect. Let's make it. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need honey. Honey, over to the cupboard. Here we go. Honey, got that, Small. Lemon. In here, there we go. Got the lemon. A cooking apple. There we go. Nice big green cooking apple. Yep. Summer berries. Ooh. It says here we can use tinned, fresh or frozen. We're going to use fresh. There we go. And frozen yoghurt. Frozen yoghurt. Oh, there we go. Nice and cold. Yep. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Frozen yoghurt's really interesting. But I wonder how it's made. Hey, why don't you whiz off on a yogurty mission and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo-choo! This is the right place. This is where frozen yoghurt is made. First of all, we need some water. The next ingredient is cream. There are lots of ingredients used to make frozen yoghurt and they all have to be mixed up together. Mixy, mixy, mixy! This sugar adds a little sweetness to the frozen yoghurt. When the mixture has been heated up and cooled down, it goes through some pipes. Hee hee, here it comes! Gloop, gloop. <laughs> it's being collected in big tubs. Oh, it looks yummy and it's really, really cold, but it's not frozen yet. To make it freeze, it has to be put in the freezer. It's really cold in there. On a hot day like this, frozen yoghurt is just what you need to cool down. These girls and boys look like they're really enjoying it. Mmm, yummy! That was great. See you later. Ah, right, everything's ready now. So while I wait for Small to get back, I think I'll have another look for that ring. Maybe it's down here. Way, I'm back! And I found out all about frozen yoghurt. It's squeezed through a big pipe and then it's put in the freezer. <laughs> ben, how's the search going for your ring? Not too well, I'm afraid. Still no luck finding it, then. We'll find it, I know we will. I hope you're right, Small. No time for worrying now, Ben. We've got work to do. Come on, then. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat.
Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients for Fruity Nest? You do. There was honey. One tablespoon. Lemon. The juice of heart. A cooking apple. One. Summer berries. Four tablespoons. And frozen yoghurt. Four tablespoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Then put the berries and honey into a mixing bowl and use a fork to mix them and squeeze the fruit a bit. Now give them a good old mix-up. Then you add the four tablespoons of frozen yoghurt and mix it all up again. Hoo-hoo! Lovely and mushy. Pour the mixture into a container, then put it in the freezer for three hours. In it goes. All in. Pop on the lid. And over to the freezer. It's in the freezer now, Small. What's next? Have you washed the apple? Certainly have, Small. Now you need to take out the core and make sure the hole's big enough for the filling. OK. Here we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. Then you need to brush the inside of the apple with lemon juice. And we'll need some silver cooking foil. I'll go and get that small. Brushing the middle of the apple with lemon juice stops it from going brown. There you go, Ben. Thanks, small. Brushing on the lemon. After you've brushed the inside of the apple with lemon, cover it in foil. So, we wrap the apple in the foil, like this. Oh, ho it's lovely and shiny. Then pop it onto a baking tray, and then put it in the oven for 35 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. There we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do. In the oven it goes for 35 minutes until it's nice and soft, but not mushy. I'll set the timer to 35 minutes. Hey, Small, I've just remembered a rhyme. It's all about different numbers of magpies and what that's supposed to mean. Oh, let's hear it then, Ben. OK, it goes like this. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, Six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. I think Monica will bring us good luck and we'll find that ring of yours, Ben. <laughs> the apple is cooked and the frozen mixture's ready too. OK, here we go. Out it comes. Close that. There we go. What's next, Small? You carefully open the foil and make a nest shape with it around the apple. OK. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the foil is hot, hot, hot. Opening it out and roll it up a little around the edge. Then you put the apple and the foil nest onto a plate and put the yoghurt and fruit mixture into the middle of the apple. OK. 
Here we go. Onto the plate. And let's scoop in the yogurt. This looks tasty. A little more, I think. Last thing, if you have a few berries left, you can use them to decorate the top of the apple. And it just so happens we have. Ta-da! Sprinkle them on. There we go. One shiny fruity nest coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Monica enjoyed her fruity nest. Look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My apple was delicious! Thank you! And I love the shiny nest. Do you mind if I take it away with me? By the way, you know how good I am at spotting shiny things? Well, I spotted this under the table, so I'm going to give it to you as a thank you present. Love from Monica the Magpie. Hee <laughs> I think I know what Monica's found. Do you? Oh, ho, ho, small! It's my ring. Monica's found my ring. <laughs> oh, I must have dropped it earlier when I was cleaning the cafe. Way! Oh, I'm so happy I could jump for joy. In fact, <laughs> I think I will. Whee! Yay! I knew you'd find it, Ben. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. Woohoo! Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. 